afternoon and welcome back to Locomotive Systems Training. Uh, before we get going, I want to make sure uh, that the statement I made earlier in the previous video about the speed of electricity or the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. Uh, my, my colleagues tell me here that I said 186 miles per second. I don't think I did, but hey, you can take a look at the video and I'll look at it when we're done. We'll check. But anyway, either way, the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. That's fast. Okay? All right. So the FRA brake system safety, part 232. Remember I told you we're going to be moving on to air brakes. Here we are. Brake system safety standard for the freight and non-passenger trains, which means freight trains, and equipment and of train devices. Definition section B. This is LST V-026. And here we go. <clears throat> we're still in definitions. Okay, piston travel means the amount of linear movement of the air brake hollow rod or equivalent or piston rod when forced outward by movement of the piston in the brake cylinder or actuator and limited by the brake shoes being forced against the wheel or disc. All right, here's a picture of an actual brake cylinder with, a, with the, uh, uh, the hollow rod or what we would call the piston uh, coming out of there. In other words, air is coming into here, pushing out on this big rubber cup seal and it pushes this piston out which goes against the lever, lever moves, goes down to uh, uh, a brake beam with the brakes you applied and it applies and releases brakes on that. Anyway, so piston travel. There's a lot of things involved in the uh, determination of how much proper piston travel is. Uh, we're going to get into that later on. We'll talk about that. But um, it's uh, the FRA rule um, I believe it's like an inch and a half less than total possible piston travel of that cylinder. But we'll talk about that more once we get into that uh, issues. Anyway, so there it is, piston travel. The more wear, the, the more worn out the equipment is, uh, you have to compensate or adjust for this wear between piston pins and, and levers and beams and rod and brake shoe wear and wheel wear down there at the uh, uh, brake slack adjuster. You, you adjust for that wear to keep this piston travel within limits. But anyway, that's what piston travel means, the amount of linear movement, movement that goes out and then back in. Uh, uh, for, and that, well, it's actually the linear movement of the piston going out. Uh, so that's what that means there. Primary responsibility means a task that a person performs at least 50% of the time. The totality of the circumstances will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis in circumstances where an individual does not spend 50% of the day engaged in any one readily identical type of activity. So they want to make sure, FRA wants to make sure that whoever that person may be who's doing this FRA work spends at least 50% of that time in that type of work. Okay, uh, It's really important to the FRA that the person who's doing this work is knowledgeable and experienced and is able to perform all these tasks based on the FRA requirements. With that being said, let's take a look at what a qualified mechanical inspector means. It means a qualified person who has received as part of the training, qualification, and designation program required under 232.203 instruction and training that includes hands-on experience uh, under appropriate supervision or apprenticeship in one or more of the following functions. Uh, troubleshooting, inspection, testing, maintenance and repair of the specific train brake components and systems for which the person is assigned responsibility. This person shall also possess a current understanding of what is required to properly repair and maintain the safety critical brake components for which the person is assigned responsibility. Further, the qualified mechanical inspector shall be a person whose primary responsibility includes work generally consistent with the functions listed in this definition. So, uh, we want, the FRA said, look, if we're going to have a qualified mechanical inspector, uh, if the person working in the tool room, maybe not. If the person working at a wheel tube, maybe not. Uh, you know, if that's all they do. What they're looking for here, they're looking for a person that's actually out on the locomotive, that is familiar with the brake, the braking system of that locomotive, how to maintain it, how to troubleshoot it, how to repair it, and work on it at least 50% of the time. So they're very specific as what their definition of a qualified mechanical inspector. Okay. Qualified person means the person who has received as part of the training, qualification, and designated program under 232.203 instruction and training necessary to perform one or more of the functions required under this part. The railroad is responsible for determining the railroad. Everybody got that? 
the carrier, the railroad, is responsible for determining that the person has the knowledge and skills necessary to perform the required function for which the person is assigned responsibility. Again, they want to make sure that person has the ability, the knowledge, and experience to know what the system is, how it works, what happens when it doesn't work, how to identify it when it doesn't work, and how to make the necessary repairs. That would be a qualified person. Okay? <clears throat> Railroad means any form of non-highway ground transportation that runs on rails or electromagnetic guideways including one, commuter or short haul railroad passenger service in a metropolitan or suburban area and commuter railroad service that was operated by the Consolidated Rail Corporation on January 1, 1979 and two, high speed ground transportation systems that connect metropolitan areas without regard to whether those systems are, are use new technologies not associated with traditional railroads. Kind of like they're separate. The term railroad is also intended to mean a person that uh, provides transportation by railroad, whether directly or by contracting out operation of the railroad to another person. This is what a railroad means to the FRA. Okay, here we go. Refresher training. And we're seeing more and more of that coming along uh, the, the issue of, of certification, the issues of training, the issues of what makes sure that person is certified or has that knowledge and experience, including hands-on, to determine this work and to perform that work. Refresher training means periodic retraining required for employees or contractors to remain qualified to perform, to perform specific equipment, troubleshooting, inspection, testing, maintenance, or repair functions. They've got to be familiar with the equipment they're working on. Roll-by inspection means an inspection performed while equipment is moving. You'll see that a lot of times as the train rolls in and out of town, you'll see car department personnel and other personnel that are sitting there and they're actually inspecting that those locomotive and the train as it goes by. They're looking for wheel problems, braking problems, load shift problems, they're making sure the couplers are working right. Uh, they're listening for anything that out of the ordinary that just doesn't sound right. That was what we call a roll-by inspection. Okay. Service application means a brake application that results from one or more service reductions or the equivalent. Uh, service application is also referred to as a service rate reduction. In other words, we're taking the automatic brake valve handle and we're going from release and recharge, we're actually going into the application zone, which means we're reducing equalizing reservoir, which means we're reducing brake pipe, which means we're increasing brake cylinder pressure. And for those of you that don't understand air brakes and locomotives, we're just applying the brake, kind of like stepping on the pedal, only we're using our hand instead of our, our foot. Okay? We're giving up two things to get one thing. We want brake supplied, which means we're going to slow or stop the train. Service rate or service reduction means a decrease in brake pipe pressure, usually from 5 to 25 psi, at a rate sufficiently rapid to move the operating valve to service portion, but at a rate not rapid enough to move the operating valve to emergency position. So, service rate reduction means that we are going to apply the brakes firmly but in a controlled manner so as not to go into an emergency situation. Okay? It's a controlled stop without thermal damage to the wheels, any damage to the brake rigging, or even the rail for that matter, and we are not in the emergency position. That would be called a service reduction or a service rate reduction. Okay? Okay? Standalone ECP brake system means a brake system equipped with a CCD that can only operate the brakes on the car in ECP brake mode. Again, in the United States, I don't know how many ECP brakes are out there. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with that. State inspector means an inspector of a participating state rail safety program under part 212 of this chapter. Different railroads, are, a lot of railroads operate in different states, some large, some small. But each state usually has its own safety rail or state inspector who will actually go out and make sure that their laws and rules are being um, implemented and followed wherever that railroad is operating in that particular state. Train means one or more locomotives coupled with one or more freight cars except during switching service. That means you're taking this train, you're assembling it, and you're driving from point A to point B. That's the train. Okay? Train line means the brake pipe or any, uh, any non-pneumatic system used to transmit the signal that controls the locomotive and freight car brakes. Remember, there's two kinds of signals out there. Uh, one is pneumatic, which is in conventional air brakes. The other one is electronics, which is ECP brakes. Okay? Most of the air, most, and I'm going to give you a number, but most of the braking systems in the United States and Canada run on pneumatic braking systems. Okay. Uh, let's see. Transfer train means a train that travels between a point of origin and a point of final destination not exceeding 20 miles. 
Such train may pick up or deliver freight equipment while en route to destination. That's called the transfer train. Yard air means a source of compressed air other than from a locomotive. Yard limits means a system of the tracks, not included main tracks and sightings used for classifying cars, making up and inspecting trains, or storing cars and equipment. And there we are with that. And this one is a lot shorter than the previous one because of, of the type of content that was in that last video. But nonetheless, they're all very, very important. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and visit the FRA's website. There it is, www.fra.dot.gov. And if you like, go take a look at our, our website, and it is lst-ca.com. That is lst-ca.com. Thank you, and have a safe day, and we'll see you next week. Bye now.